What's up guys, Perry from Rockville here, and today I'm gonna show you how to set up your Ramses 15 battery-powered PA speaker. So when you get all three boxes, you'll see that in box one, you get the active speaker, the two microphones, the power cable to charge your speaker, the quarter inch cable to link your active speaker and your passive speaker, a wireless remote and batteries for each microphone. In box two, you'll see the passive speakers, and in box three, you'll see the speaker stands. The first thing we can get out of the way is putting the batteries into each microphone. We're just going to open up the end cap here to reveal the battery compartment for the first microphone. And then we're going to put the batteries in one at a time facing downwards. After that, we can screw the end cap back on and do the same exact thing for the second microphone. So we're gonna circle back to those wireless microphones in a bit, but for now, let's move on to setting up the speaker stands so we can mount our speakers. So to start, we can just take one of our speaker stands and loosen this bottom knob here so we can spread the legs out. Once the knob is loose, we're gonna push down on the base of the legs here so that they spread like this. And once they're spread out the way we want, we can just tighten the knob to lock it in place, place it down on the floor, and then move on to setting the height of the stand. So to do that, we're gonna loosen up this top knob here. And then as we pull up, up on the top of the stand, you'll see these holes right here. Now these are a great reference when setting up the height of the stand, and as soon as we find the desired height, we can take the locking pin here right next to the pole, feed it through the hole closest to the bottom, and then after we do that, you'll notice as we push down, it's not going to go anywhere, securing the height of the stand so it won't collapse. But don't forget to tighten the knob back up here on the top for extra security. After we do all this for the first stand, we're going to do the same exact thing for the next stand here. So real quick, let's just talk about transporting these speakers. Now on the top, you're gonna see these handles. And when you press this button in the middle, you're gonna be able to pull up, revealing this trolley handle. After that, you're free to roll the speakers around to get to your gig or event. And there's also side handles on each speaker to pick them up and transport them around. So when mounting the speakers onto the speaker stands, you're first gonna wanna take a look at the back of the speaker on the bottom, where you'll find this knob here that will allow you to insert the speakers onto the stands. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is loosen that knob, then you can use the handles to lift up your speaker. On the bottom of the speaker, you'll see the pole mount that we can use to line it up to the stand. Line them up and insert the pole onto the speaker. And then once the speaker is on the stand, you can tighten this knob to lock it in place. So once we've done that with the passive speaker, we can then do the same exact thing with the active speaker. But keep in mind the active speaker is a bit heavier than the passive speaker, so you may need an extra person to help you mount it. So now that we've got both speakers onto their stands, I'm going to turn them around so we can see how to link them together. Now on the back of the active speaker here, you're going to see a quarter inch output that says speaker out, and on the passive speaker, you'll see an input that says speaker in. So to link the two speakers together, we can take the included quarter inch cable, plug one end into the speaker out on the active speaker, then plug the other end into the speaker in on the passive speaker. Now because the active speaker is battery powered, I can turn it on using the switch here and it should turn on no problem. Whenever you need to charge the speaker, you can take the included power cable and plug it in to charge it. Or you can use these 12 volt and ground terminals and link that to an external battery to charge your speaker. Now the cool thing about this speaker is that it comes with built in mic holders so we can place each mic on each side. Now if we take a look at the back of the speaker, you'll see we have all of these different features here. So underneath the LED screen, we have the buttons for music playback. So we have the pause play button, the mode button to switch the input for the speaker, which we'll circle back to in a little bit. We have the repeat button to repeat a track. We have a previous and next button, and we have the EQ button to set the speakers into a preset EQs. We also have the graphic EQ here if we wanted to set the EQ for the speaker manually. We also have USB and an SD card input to play music from. There's also a built-in FM radio, and we can use these antennas here to strengthen the radio signal. There's also a line mode to play the music coming in from our line input here. And the speaker also has Bluetooth compatibility so we can pair our smartphone or tablet. So to do that, I'm gonna press the mode button until it reads Bluetooth. I can then take my device and go into the Bluetooth settings, search for the device that reads Ramses 15, click on it to pair, and then you're gonna hear that sound letting you know your device is connected. You're also gonna to wanna to raise the MP3 volume knob in order to hear the music from your smartphone or tablet. Now we can play music from our smartphone or tablet, so let's quickly hear how the speakers sound. Yeah, sounds good. So now let's move on to the inputs we have here in the middle. So we have this mic input so we can connect a microphone through an XLR or quarter inch cable. 
We have the line input like we mentioned before with this XLR line input and a RCA line input. This way we can connect any external speakers, mixers, etc. And we can also use the XLR line output to expand our setup with additional speakers, subwoofers, etc. But we're going to circle back to the line inputs and the line outputs in a bit. So to connect a microphone to the mic input, I have my microphone here and an XLR cable. I'm going to plug the female end into my mic, then plug the other end into the mic input. Remember, you can also do this with a female XLR to quarter inch cable. After that, we can raise the mic volume here on top. And now if I turn on my microphone, check one, two, you should be able to hear my voice coming out of the speaker. Now the cool thing about this mic channel is that we have this echo knob here to give our voice an echo effect. We also have this talk over button here, which allows us to talk over music that's playing out of our speaker. For example, we have some music playing over the speakers, but if we wanted to make an announcement with our microphone, we can press the talk over button in, and as soon as we turn the microphone on and talk into it, check one, two, check one, two, you'll hear the music lower and hear my voice a lot clearer to make my announcement. You can also use the mic input to connect your guitar or instrument while you use the wireless microphones to sing, which makes for a great busking setup. So to activate our wireless microphones, I'm gonna press this VHF power button here. I'm gonna raise the volume for microphone A and microphone B. Then I can take one of my wireless microphones, flip the power switch on, and then if I go to talk into the mic, check one, two, you'll be able to hear my voice coming out of the speakers. We can also set our wireless microphones into standby mode by flipping this switch to the middle. Check one, two, and now you won't be able to hear my voice at all. Another thing I want to point out is that the talkover feature is also going to work for the wireless microphones along with the echo effect. You can also use the mic input to connect your guitar or instrument while you use the wireless microphones to sing, which makes for a great busking setup. So to show you guys how that works, I have my guitar right here. So I'm gonna plug it into the mic channel using a quarter inch cable. I'm gonna plug one end into my guitar. Then I'm gonna plug the other end into the mic input. Next, I'm gonna raise the mic volume. And if there's a volume knob on your acoustic electric guitar like this one here, you're gonna wanna turn that up as well. And another cool thing is that we still have both wireless microphones to use while we're using our guitar, so we can sing and play at the same time. So I'm talking through the microphone right now and you can hear it coming out of the speakers and I'm playing my guitar and you hear both coming out and it makes for a pretty great performance setup. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't forget, we also have the echo knob that we can add to the wireless microphones, and it's also going to work for our guitar since it's plugged into the mic input. So just to show you that, I'm going to turn it up right now. Chuck one, two, check one, two, and you can hear that echo. And then now on the guitar, yeah, you hear that echo on there as well. So this is a great setup if you want to play your guitar and sing at the same time for any performances, busking, etc. And keep in mind this could also work for other instruments like a bass guitar, keyboard, etc. Another cool thing is we can use the microphone that we plugged in along with the two wireless microphones to have three microphones in our setup. So to activate our wireless microphones, I'm going to press this VHS power button here. I'm going to raise the volume for microphone A and microphone B. Then I can take one of my wireless microphones, flip the power switch on, and then if I go to talk into the mic, check one, two, you'll be able to hear my voice coming out of the speakers. We can also set our wireless microphones into standby mode by flipping this switch to the middle. Check one, two, and now you won't be able to hear my voice at all. Another thing I want to point out is that the talk over feature is also going to work for the wireless microphones along with the echo effect. So because we can use up to three microphones with the speaker and link any smartphone or tablet, this would make for a killer karaoke setup. So to do that, I can go into the Bluetooth settings of my smartphone or tablet, search for the device that reads Ramsys 15, click on it to pair. So from here, we can go into the YouTube app and search for any karaoke version of a song, have our music and our microphones coming out of the speakers while the lyrics are here on the tablet. And don't forget, we can also use the echo knob for some extra flair and sing some karaoke.
So like I mentioned earlier, we can use the XLR line output to expand our setup even further to additional speakers or subwoofers. To do that, I'm just gonna take an XLR cable, plug the female end into the line out on the speaker, then plug the other end into the XLR input on your sub. After that, you're gonna wanna raise the level knob on your subwoofer. From there, we can play any source connected to the speaker, whether it's Bluetooth, the line input, FM radio, etc., and it will all come out of the subwoofer and our speakers. So let's hear some music with the sub. You can also follow the same exact steps if you wanted to set up an additional speaker instead of the subwoofer. Now we can also use the line input on the Ramsys 15 in order to expand our setup with a mixer. And I have another set of Ramsys 15s here to make our setup even bigger. So the first thing I'm gonna wanna do is take two XLR cables, plug the females in into the XLR outputs of my mixer, then plug the other ends into the line inputs on both sets of Ramsys 15s. You're also gonna wanna make sure to set each speaker to line in mode by pressing the mode button until it says line in. So now we can go ahead and turn on our mixer. To test our setup today, I'm gonna plug a microphone into channel one. Then I'm gonna turn up the line level on both speakers, raise the main mix on my mixer, raise the volume for channel one for my microphone. And now if I turn on my microphone, Check one, two, you should be able to hear my voice, which means everything coming through the mixer is also coming out of our speakers. Now this is a really cool setup for band practices, live performances, and more, since we can connect microphones and instruments through the mixer, use the built-in effects, the Bluetooth, etc. and again, everything coming from the mixer will be coming out of our speakers. Now the last thing I wanna show you guys is how to link two Ramses 15s together through TWS, otherwise known as True Wireless Stereo Connection, so you can have up to four speakers playing music from your smartphone or tablet. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is set both speakers to Bluetooth mode by pressing the mode button until they both read Bluetooth. Next, we're gonna to wanna to choose which speaker we wanna have set to the master speaker, so we'll go with this one right here. And then all we're gonna do is hold down the pause play button because underneath you'll see that it reads scan TWS. So we're just gonna hold that down. And then as soon as you let go, You'll notice that both speakers will read that they're connected with the first speaker reading as BTA and the second speaker reading as BTB. So now from here, we can connect our smartphone or tablet to both speakers by going into the Bluetooth settings, search for the device that reads Ramsys 15, click on it to pair, and then you'll hear that sound letting you know your device is connected to both speakers. So let's hear how it all sounds together. Now the one thing I did want to point out is that TWS doesn't work for the mic input, the line input, or the line output, but the really cool thing is that it works with your microphones because it's all wireless. So on both speakers, I can activate the VHF power, raise the mic volumes, and if I turn on my microphone, check one, two, you'll be able to hear my voice coming out of all speakers. So hopefully this showed you guys how easy it is to set up your Ramsys 15 battery powered PA speakers. But of course, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to our customer support team through phone or email. As always, I'm Perry from Rockville, and we'll see you guys next time.